anthropologist, I've been an agricultural journalist as well, and I seem to move back and forth between journalism and communications. And, and now, at this point in my career, I'm uh, head of communications for the European Crop Protection Association. And, uh, I've got a very simple message for you tonight, which is uh, that uh, you know uh, better than almost anyone, other than perhaps the farmer in the field, the reality of agriculture in Europe. And I think uh, that is my message for you, which is to keep it real and, and keep uh, the political feet to the fire in terms of the policies that are made about agriculture. Because I think there's a lot of, uh, of uh, fantasy about agriculture flying uh, in the air these days. And I think that uh, the journalists uh, of agriculture in Europe have uh, uh, a duty to to make sure that the reality is served. Um, we have a lot of uh, projections about the future for agriculture, but I think there are some very important aspects that need to be attended to. The FAO is saying that we'll need to increase productivity by 70% uh, to keep up with world population levels. What does that mean to Europe? Well, Europe is probably one of the most influential uh, bodies on the planet in terms of of world food markets. It's the biggest producer, it's the biggest exporter, and it's the biggest importer all at the same time. So what happens in Europe counts. And uh, we must make sure that European agricultural policies look at the bigger picture. Because the challenge for agriculture is very, very profound. We've got to produce more food, we've got to do it in the face of climate change, in the face of uh, the environment and the things we have to do to keep food safe, keep it nutritious, keep it affordable, in the face of the challenges about biodiversity. And I think one of the key elements that we have to bear in mind, uh, that we have to achieve, is that we really have to do it now on this planet, on the same agricultural land base. In other words, we have to stay or increase our productivity. Uh, this is a message I think that we have to bring home because not only are the remaining wildlands and forests uh, treasures to us, but agriculture's most significant impact as far as greenhouse gases are concerned is the destruction of forests. And if Europe reduces its productivity, if Europe brings uh, in regulations or incentive that reduces productivity, it means that somewhere land is going to be turn to agriculture. And this is, I think, part of Europe's duty to the world, and its duty is to itself is to maintain the productivity of its land base. So that's basically the message I have to give you today. Keep it real, and do your best.